What's going on guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here and I am back for another Attack on Titan Season 3 Episode 21 I think this one is. So, um, so from what we've learned so far man, the, the history that we're learning right now is so it's it's good. Because even though you're kind of still in a state of confusion, you still kind of understand certain things. Um, learning about Grisha's history, it seems like um, because of, Air, of um, Aaron eating his dad, um, seems like he now can see his memories somehow. So, um, so that's what we're seeing right now. So it, it's it's pretty dope, man. And it doesn't seem like it's the same it's the same um Titan though. That's what I'm saying. Like that's what I was a little bit confused about in the in the last um in the last part of it is is that the the Titans just it didn't look the same. Even though it had the same green eyes, it just it just didn't look the same. It, it looked like him, but it, it, there was some slight difference. If you go back and watch the episode, you could see that there's some slight differences um, about the Titans. So it's like of the one that Aaron turns into and what the owl just turned into. It's, there's a slight difference, and that's why I'm like, it just didn't seem the same. You get what I'm saying? I mean, other than the green eyes, I think that's the only thing that kind of like made it, you know, kind of seem like the same. Um, but it could be. It could be the same Titan. Could be that, you know, could be just an animation um, mistake or, you know what I'm saying? Like they or they made the shading just like that to just kind of um, throw you off a bit until the next episode. Who knows? But it just it, in in some when you watch the episode over and you actually look at that image um, a bunch of times, it just it to me like looking at at it over and over again, it just kind of looked like something. It it just the two times just to look the same. Uh, I'm spending way too much time on this point. <laughs> Anyways, um, so what we've learned so far is now that um, I don't know what he's about to do. Um, he broke the ship in two over his shoulders. It's pretty dope. So we'll see um, um, what is going to take place next. As I said, I from all the information we got in the last episode, like I, I was hoping I didn't botch the review because there was so much information. And doing that directly after my reaction, um, when I, when I don't exactly have my thoughts together, um, but you guys said I did a pretty good job. So I'll accept that thank you guys so much for watching the review and giving me back some feedback on that so we're gonna definitely jump into this episode man i don't want to spend too much time on the intro if you want to see because i'm not going over everything that happened again in this intro so if you want to see that review go and check out the last re the last review that i did um for episode 20 and then you can come back and watch this okay if you have not watched that yeah, thank you guys for all the support. I think that video just hit um, a thousand views. I know it's not the preferred way for people to watch reactions on YouTube, um, by you know going to a different, going to a different source. I'm so sorry. Um, going to a different source um, to watch the the reaction, and then I have to come back to to YouTube and review. But, but to all you guys that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, support the channel and what we're doing over here. Because as I said, man, for the next few days, for the next few days, I'm going to be dropping a ton of content on the channel. All the reactions that's been missing, I'm going to make sure that they're out for the next three days. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So a lot of stuff is going to drop tonight. A lot of stuff is going to drop tomorrow night. A lot of stuff is going to drop on Wednesday night. After that, there will still be reactions, but they're not going to be... Um, they're not going to be as on time and uh, it's going to go off schedule again. Stuff's going to be all over the place. Okay. So don't expect too much after Wednesday. Okay. Because I have to be prepared to leave where I am. And so thank you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys back for the review. I feel like I need to.
All right, so here we are once again at the end of an Attack on Titan episode, confused out of our minds. Anyways, but this this episode, if I can remember really what's really going on. So in the first part of the episode, first half I should say, is basically this guy Aaron, Aaron um, Kruger, right, which obviously see my reaction at the beginning of the episode you saw how i reacted to that because obviously grisha named his son after this guy which is pretty dope pretty dope because um sometimes when people have impact on you in life throughout life we do that till this till this day we still do that um naming our kids after people that has uh, have a huge influence over us in life so I mean, at one point, I was <laughs> at one point I was considering the fact that if I, you know what I'm saying, if I had a son, I would name my son, um, give him the middle name of Naruto. Um, I don't know how much my um, significant other would like that, but it's something that I have considered because Naruto has been a huge influence in my life growing up. You know what I'm saying? Um, not just because it's a you know anime or whatever there's other people that has an impact in my life but that name just it would stick out you know what i'm saying so i chose that one it's still something i'm planning to do if it happens so when it comes on to stuff like that i totally understand why i would do that so um aaron kruger went on to explain to him what's really going on you know, explaining to him the stuff that's going on inside the wall and all of this other stuff and tell him basically how um, the big, the, I think one of the biggest information that we learned is that um, once you have a Titan power, right, one out of the nine or however, um, you only can live for 13 years after that. So... I don't know how true that is. That's the thing. Like, we don't know how true that is. That could be just because somebody died while they had a Titan power. This is not something... I don't think this is a rule, per se, that is set in stone. I really don't believe it is. Um, I know that he told him that. And, yes, now we have that information. We're going to believe it going forward. But I just, I, I just believe that... I just don't think that is it. it. It just seems weird. You know what I'm saying? Like in some ways, I mean, it's something that's acceptable, but at the same time, it just seems like it's, it's too much of a pressure to put on the story for it, for it to be believably. It's like, okay, you have a Titan power. Um, at this moment, Aaron has two. So does that shorten his life? twice you know what i'm saying is he gonna die next year or something you know what i'm saying so it's like you know because if you can acquire multiple of the nine titan powers if if that is possible because it's possible because right now aaron has right now aaron has the um the attack titan and he has the fountain titan the founding titan power but as we've learned, as we learned at the uh, at the second half of the episode, once he was released and stuff like that, and he's kind of keeping certain things to himself. So now we know that the, the 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 Titan power that he has is the Attack Titan, ergo the name of the show, right? Um. So now we kind of understand. I mean, even the freaking title of the freaking show that we've been watching, we didn't even know that. Because if you notice, e even in the um. Even in the the, the freaking title, how they structured it and how the, the 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 logo is presented, you can see that it has attack. Then you have beyond is very small, and then you have Titan again big. So it's basically already was telling you that that's the name of the Titan, but now it's being revealed. It's crazy, right? So, um. Him figuring out things and blurting it out there in the second half of the episode when they were given the report, um, I, was, I still need to kind of go back and see what um, what happened. Because I think if everybody is interconnected when it comes on to the founding Titan power and those who are of royal blood, 
just heard something outside my window. What the hell? Yeah. So those who are of royal blood, right? When it comes down to Historia, I think that's um I think that's what happened when she after she finished reading the letter and then some and then some weird thing happened where she was like connected with memories. I think everybody that's that that has Eldian blood, right? I think they're all interconnected somehow even without the power of the Titan cuz um Historia was never a Titan. She just has royal blood. Um Ymir is a um still a Titan. Of course. So I think everybody that's an Eldian has they have some connectivity somehow even without this Titan power. Um or without the founding Titan. I think they're all connected. Everybody that's a descendant of Ymir, they're all connected because they're kinda like all children, you know what I'm saying, of a quote unquote God per se. So it's like they have this spiritual connection um, that they, you know, they can share memories and all of this other stuff. They they probably just don't know how to really use it. Um, I don't know if Ymir sent her a message. I don't know. So I have to go back and look at what she was remembering and what she saw. Maybe there was a clip that I probably, you know, maybe I squinted and I missed it. So I don't know. I don't know. It, it, um, so I'm going to have to go back and look at that scene right after she finished writing the letter and what those flashbacks were or flash forwards, whatever it is. Um, so. Um, so now we're getting to understand a little bit more about the world, of course, it's pretty awesome, man. I'm digging this anime so much. You guys know how much I love it because the story is just unbelievable. And then they're going to drop this little nugget at the end of the episode. Um, basically him mentioning Armin and freaking Mikasa. And I'm like, this guy is not supposed to know about these kids. He's not supposed to know about these kids. He's been dead. He's been dead because obviously Grisha took his power, right? Obviously Grisha took his power. And as I said, the Titan just doesn't, the Titan, don't, it doesn't look the same. As you can see at the beginning of the episode, what I was talking about in the intro, the Titan just doesn't look, it doesn't look the same, but I guess that's just, maybe that was an animation um, mistake. Um, maybe it was, I don't know. It just doesn't look the same to me, but maybe over time, because I don't think they can transform into the same Titan. I think it's the same attack Titan power, but I think I think when they transform, they are different because Grisha, does, Grisha did not look like how Eren's Titan form looks he didn't look like that because that's one of the things that we were talking about i think in the discord also you know and in the comment section where i was where, where i was saying that um i couldn't remember i think in the last review i was saying that it was like i couldn't remember if um if grisha looked like Aaron titan i couldn't remember and then i went back and checked or somebody um i went back and checked somebody else went back and checked it was like no nah. He didn't look like that. He was more, he was bearded and you get what I'm saying? Like it, it, it was a totally different look. So I think that even though it's the same attack Titan power, they just don't look the same. They don't look the same. It take on properties of the actual person that has the power. So that's pretty dope. I mean, that was kind of obvious from before, but it's just that I think the green eyes, I think it it carries over i think that's um we can say that carries over because they all had green eyes right the attack the attack titan has those green eyes and it's and basically what he was saying is the only titan that has persevered and moved forward and and has always stayed in um in in um in eldian power or Eld the eldian possession so i think that's what he was trying to say but I mean, the nuggets that are being dropped, I think, I think Aaron doesn't want to blur things out, but I think he's going to end up telling, um, Hanji, I think he's going to end up telling her, telling them what's going on or what, why he keeps blurting stuff out like that. So, um, so I'm definitely looking forward to see how they're going to wrap the season up, man. I think we got one more episode to go. 
at least that's what I'm hearing that there's only one episode left. So the next one will be the finale um, of season three. So that's going to be pretty cool. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction, enjoyed my review. And thank you guys for watching as always. You know what it is. You are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.